Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Proc Jam 2020. The Proc Jam isn't necessarily a game jam, it's a jam about making something that creates something. About creating some sort of piece of work that uses procedural or random generation so that it then does something. This year's theme is Renewal, it's an optional theme, it wasn't uh, required by anyone, and this game jam actually has a lot of stuff behind it. There are video tutorials, written tutorials, art assets, and there are seeds, which is the name of the zine, or zine, I don't remember how to say it. Um, so yeah, do check out all of these resources that come as a part of this jam. As always, this video is brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon, so if you want to support me on Patreon or just follow me on Twitter, links in the description below. Let's get started. We're playing Mimic Masher. I don't completely understand this. Let's do it. <laughs> the thing is, I've totally played this game before as well. And I didn't understand it then. I do like the compass on the axe. I do think the axe is a oh, look at coins. So there. Ah, there you go. So yeah, we're basically hunting this chest and then killing it. And you can kind of look around for coins. There they are. And that'll help you lead your player to them. I don't remember this game a bit better now. I kind of like that it's not scary and instead we're the bad guy, you know? Next! We're playing Box Catapult 2D. I press spacebar. I don't know what any of this. Press. Okay, well, yeah, just press spacebar, you know? And then it makes a thing and then you can watch it. Look at this little ball. Just bouncing around. Oh. Alright. We can edit this catapult. Interesting. So we can move around stuff. I don't know. Will that actually help it? Will it live longer? Nope. It actually uh, lived less time. Uh, press escape to go back to the evolution. Let's, I don't know, let's go in, uh, this one was number one. So you kind of want to watch it and see what caused it to fall and then edit, I guess, that aspect to improve it. So I guess a wall there would. Press escape, press space to edit. Okay. I guess taking something like this and moving it here would be the best option. Oh, I don't want it to slide back. So I need it to be there the whole time. Yeah, hmm. Next. We're playing 2D house generator. Um, so this creates a complex structure. In the future, they plan to make it so every room is accessible. Um, and currently, it makes this house. I don't know. Here it is over there. Uh, what happens is, is when you refresh the page, because it's only a web-based thing, it then just generates you a new one. Here's this one, so... And they're just two floored houses. They look nice. There's no dead ends in any of them, which is a neat choice. I'm just going to refresh it to make a third one. More complex, or uh, compact, not compact, flex. More compact. Big window, little window, so they're different sizes. It's definitely a good start. I don't really know what you'd use this for, but... That one's also a very small house. Stairs right when you come in. But it's neat that it was made. Next. We're playing Brent. I mean, this place looks... scary, because the trees look alive. And I have to chop them down, like, that's my goal. And they definitely look like weird alien creatures that will haunt me in my sleep. Maybe that's the weird thing. Alright, let's run for a bit. Hello. 
I can hear it, that weird music. I like the mini map. It's very creepy. I don't know if I like the game. I'm not even sure why it's chasing me or why I'm cutting down the aliens. Next. We're playing Blabrex. Uh, it's like Scrabble, but worse. Type in a word to play. I'm going to type in the word bread because I'm... Oh, you can't play that. It's in the dictionary. Oh, we need to type in, like, a word. Letters only. Um, bread. No way that's a word. Really? Oh, because red's at the start? You can't play that. It's in the dictionary. No way that's a word. It's to modify, it's modified, it swaps a dictionary for real, obscure, for capture, fiction, intelligence. Real words aren't allowed, instead you have to play words that sound like English T, the A, I. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. So I have to spell something wrong? Like, import, tent? Alright. So I've spelled important wrong. Doesn't look like it's got a meaning. Do I have to give it a meaning? Oh, I can give it a meaning. I don't want to give it. What about... I don't know. I don't know how to make up a word that's spelled wrong. It's very difficult. It's a very interesting concept, though. Next. We're playing a world set on fire. Can you reach the Hall of Flame? I don't know. Probably not. But we can try. We're always willing to try to reach the Hall of mm, Hall of Flame. You know, games with timers. I don't want to go backwards. You know, I want to go forwards. Oh, it's procedurally generative. Okay, fun, fun, fun. And we also had a double jump, but I just automatically don't try to double jump because I'm some sort of very silly human being. Alright, let's keep going. You know, it's a bit intense. You've got platforms, you've definitely got a strange fire creature chasing you, maybe it's just a wall of fire, I don't know. I'm not very good at this game, but I appreciate it. I just, you know, take my time. Yeah in platformers. Next. We're playing Untitled Jam Game 2020. Alright, so we're in like the winter maze. I like the snow and like the detail of the world. Everything's got old air conditioners. It looks like kind of post-apocalyptic stuff where everything looks metal and intense. Definitely a maze. Definitely overcrowding in houses. Whenever I think of post-apocalyptic future, that's what I imagine. Ah, oh, and we're snowed in. Okay. Ah, oh, hey, we can find papers. Pretty sure when I played this for like the seven day FPS, I had no idea you could collect papers. Now I'll keep my eyes out for the papers. This one almost looks like you could escape. But we obviously can't. Next. We're gonna talk about a procedural form generation experiment. This looks like a paper that someone submitted. So this is a progress report to my partially completed project. I started on Monday the 7th and took a casual approach of spending one to two hours working on it every day. So this is pretty interesting. It looks like this person is very smart, way smarter than me. Uh, but they're trying to make a form generator based on Irvin Biderman's recognition by components. And like over time, look at these like, little graphs. I don't really know. 
They're using polymer clay, polymer, polymer, polymer clay to turn a number of these permutations into modular pieces and then add to the set. So we've got like some macaroni looking stuff and then eventually a rectangle. They do look really interesting, this entire thing. Like this photo looks great. On day four of the jam, they added terminator pieces. Interesting. Started building stuff up. Look at these. I don't know, I'm not smart enough to completely understand what's happening, but it's definitely an interesting, like, read for those who, you know, would like to see a procedural form generator experiment in action. And it's got sources. Next. We're checking out map generator. <laughs> Look at this little map. It looks like a Kenny model. Oh, no, I didn't mean to try to save this. No, no, no. Sorry. And you can see it creating the map as we go. It looks like a big bit of islands. We've got some trees and berries and plants. So probably be a very useful tool for those who need a map generated quickly. There's a log. And so my infinitely there's not a lot of dead ends, which I appreciate. Although I do think that it could be more like foggy when it generates, like towards the edges, so it's not hard cutting, but that's such a minor detail for a map generator. This does its job, it generates maps. Next. We're playing World War 12, or WW12 actually. All right, check the number of towers that are in a city before planning a shot. I'm not gonna, oh wait, it's not yet. Unlimited mode, okay, sure, launch. That's fine. Gathering stage, better talk to some people, discover stuff. Who am I? What am I? Alright, so how about manual? Request a dummy plane? Yes, yes, thank you for playing this uh, game. I really appreciate that. Wow, in this stage you must gather every piece of information about the city possible since the government is only going to give you the number of defense towers in the city. In order to do that, you can visit three different types of places to discover stuff. Parks, pubs, and churches. Let's take a look at... Oh, I didn't want to go into the communication station. I've already messed this up. Bowing for the win. Hmm. Definitely a very strange game. I don't really want to bomb everything. But I also don't know how to interact with anything. But then we need to do stuff. Dummy planes. It's like Battlefield. A battle, what is it called? The battle tank one? We go like C12, then we put like a little peg there. I don't know, man. Next. <laughs>